everybody. Today we're going to be checking out a new tool or a new gadget. I've got here a quarter inch drill saw. Basically it's a drill bit that lets you drill into something and then left and right. What is that like? 2D or 3D? So I was walking through Toys R Us today, or Tool World at Lowe's if you want to call it that, and came across this bad boy. And it's something that I've been working and I've thought to myself, goodness gracious, why can't I do this with my drill bit? And, well, this is what this is supposed to do. So we're going to see. I'm going to drill in some different things and see how well it works today. Now I have a couple different materials I'm going to try this bad boy on. I've got some different pieces of plywood, a piece of three-quarter inch MDF, a two-by-four, and a piece of plexiglass. So see what kind of damage we can do. Now I'm going to be using my Hitachi 18 volt drill to do this. You can see a little close up of the bit, kind of how it's made. It's just got the regular drill at the tip, then it's got little, I don't know, dimples down the rest of the shaft. First up is just a piece of quarter inch Luon. Let's see how it does. Yeah, we're on high. Oh, it moves. The one worked fairly well. Now let's see the half inch birch. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> no! You can make a little larger hole with it. That's nice. The half inch birch was pretty tough. I imagine this three quarter is going to be really tough. Yeah, it's certainly not very practical. Now for some three quarter inch MDF. Not very good. I'm skipping the two before and going straight to the placey glass. I think the two before would wouldn't get to see a lot of results. pretty good it's not really melting it like I would figure so it is cutting it so it works pretty good okay now we're back to the quarter inch Luon I'm gonna see about a uh, drill sawing a circle um, I was a little ambitious before the video making this big circle but now that I've used this thing <laughs> I made a smaller circle okay let's see cut it fairly well it's a pretty decent circle I mean it's it's round I was able to follow the lines pretty good uh, you know this thing doesn't move very fast so you can guide it fairly easily and it doesn't you know want to go off in a funky direction on you so you could you could, you could cut a circle out of quarter inch glue on in <laughs> a minute and a half okay now for what I see myself potentially actually using this thing for uh, is for when you have a drill bit that's not quite big enough for what you need to drill a hole for kind of like this here so I have these three quarter inch plywood and I'm going to see just how long it'll take me or how hard it is to drill a hole with this quarter inch bit for this three eighths inch bolt. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, well that's going to take longer than I want to do it. <laughs> uh, I've gotten it a little larger. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't work very good for making a bigger hole. 
I don't know. Maybe it does. If you had to, it would work. It would take some time. Okay, so what do I think about the drill saw? Uh, it works. Uh, maybe not awesome, or it may not be as cool as I initially thought. It was. I know when I saw it in the store, I was like, whoa, that's awesome. But now I'm like, I hope I don't have to saw anything with this drill saw. Because it's pretty slow, unless I'm in quarter inch glue on. Uh, other than that, I don't really want to be using it. Um, as for widening a hole, uh, if your drill bit's not big enough, uh, it's pretty slow. <laughs> uh, I would recommend getting a bigger drill bit. But if you had to work in a pinch, it would work. One thing I did notice... Uh, after using it for a few minutes is that my drill started to kind of vibrate when I'd be moving it left or right um, So it's probably not very healthy for your drill now one thing that this is kind of advertised to do is to cut metal um, Yeah, maybe if you're cutting Tin foil or really thin metal. Yeah, it might cut it or if you just had to wall out a hole just a little bit like I don't know a door hinge or something, but I don't know why you need to do that anyways, uh, but, you know, would I say go buy one? No. <laughs> Am I going to keep it? Well, of course I'm going to keep it, but I'll, I'll probably put it in my drill case that I carry at work, and maybe I'll have a use for it one day. May not, but you never know. It could be one of those things when it's the exact thing that you need. And this one here, I bought the Cobalt brand. There was like a Bosch right beside it, and I looked online, and there's a few other brands uh, I don't know if they're different. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. The I know the Bosch looked exactly like this one. They're the exact same price at Lowe's, so they're probably the same thing. But maybe they have some better ones out there. I don't know. Well, I appreciate you watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see some more of my videos, go check out my YouTube channel, Sailing and Such, and subscribe. There's going to be some more videos coming up soon. Thank you all, and God bless.